President Lazarus Chakwera did not mince his words when he called out the West and others for exploiting SADC's natural resources, depriving it of the much needed capital to fund its development. The Malawian leader told the ordinary summit that SADC and Africa at large must refuse to be shortchanged when they are the ones with the crucial resources. But we must get our act together and work together to protect these resources and turn them into the key they are for unlocking our region's economic potential. If we do not do that, the forces we all know are already in our region from the west and the east will surely succeed in their intentions to steal those resources from us. I know it is not politically correct to say that, but we should not pretend that these nations are not run by governments with a long history and track record of theft. In the time of our forefathers, they came here and stole entire nations and human beings from Africa. And now in our time, they have come bearing gifts and loans as if we, and if we are not careful, this will be the Trojan horse used to steal from us the riches of our minerals, our fresh water, our human talent, and our fertile land. President Chakwera handed over the rotating chairpersonship of the regional bloc to DRC's Felix Chisakedi Chilombo. The mineral-rich DRC is still marred by conflict in northern and eastern parts between government armed forces and the rebels. The SADC leaders are blaming foreign interest and interference and cautions against theft of the country's resources. If the world wants what we have, they must buy it in a fair trade so that we can use the proceeds to build ourselves new cities, <laughs> new universities, new infrastructure, new industries, and new programs that will lift our people out of poverty and meet the needs of the most vulnerable among us, including people with disabilities. With the resources we have, we refuse to be anyone's beggar. And with the unity we have, we must refuse to let anyone steal from us or use us to steal from our own people or from each other. <laughs> the plunder that we have allowed the West to conduct here in the DRC is a sin that we must repent of. Since his election to the office in 2019, President Chisekedi has made it his mission to strengthen DRC's voice in regional and international matters. As the chair of SADC, he pledged to work with all member states to maintain the non-negotiable values of the bloc. Chisekedi also used the platform to condemn Rwanda's aggression in the eastern border areas. We are looking forward to work with all member states so that SADC may make regional integration a living reality. Before I close my speech, please allow me to thank our community, SADC, for its solidarity with the Congolese people at the time when our country is a victim of uh, a coward aggression from uh, its uh, neighbor, the Rwanda. The ordinary summit is further expected to provide post-COVID-19 economic recovery roadmap and the overall status in the region. Member states are also deliberating the working structure of the SADC Humanitarian and Emergency Operations Center that is to be based in Mozambique. Blanche Corres' NBC News, Kinshasa, DRC.